here we are it is round two of the Western Conference playoffs I guess it's the Western Conference semifinals uh, we'll play, we are here in Oracle Arena DeJounte Murray stepping out number five uh, I think that represents how many steals per game he's gonna get in this series Mo Bamba right there just pretty much has been the unsung hero just well, frankly because Bradley Beal and uh, Kyle Kuzma have been scoring a shit ton of points lately. Hopefully that continues. Hopefully we're in the same good fortunes as not only we had the previous series, but the previous time we played this team. And it was here in Oracle Arena. Cut the video short to explain more and keep it shorter because it was a dump fest. It was a dump fest. And I'm fucking ready for it. I hope y'all are having a good one here on a, a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Go ahead and kick this bitch off. It's definitely what they kind of annoyed, but it is what it is. That's technically Colin Sexton at point guard for this team. I don't know why it was a draw date or a trade. A trade. It's whatever, though. I don't, okay, what kind of fucking throw was that, ref? Here we go, here we go. Let's start these B shots. They know it's all on the line. And they're ready to go. I mean, as we can hear so often their fans. There you go, that was too easy. I mean, I thought I didn't expect it right there to spot up, but fuck it. I don't give a shit. He's gonna give that to me. By all means I will go ahead and utilize that. And it's Zach Randolph. Then there's Boss, and it's the Cobra in at the three. And yes, it's good. All right, Colin Sexton's getting shit done. I mean, 18 points per game. Come on, this team is not guarding these dudes worth a shit. How is this the second? How is this the second best team in the West? You know. Rebound, San Antonio. Oh, he couldn't have asked for a better look there. He just didn't get it to go. They get it again. A pass to Murray. Here's Boss. Spurs passing it around. All right, here we go, here we go. Outside, Beal. Here's Boss. And it's going to be two free throws. Take Drew that, though. This team's shot. already getting yeah, sort of owned. Right I mean, the we could do way better than even this start. I think, Jesus Christ, yeah. hell yeah, we can do way better. Cool hands. Cool hands. Drains it from beyond the arc. Gallinari's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. He can be a weapon if he gets going early from long range. <sighs> I wish Bradley Beal Don't could just go him. off. He's I want to. I want to have a game to where one of these two like dudes gets 40 points. The they can easily get 30, but I want to see a game of 40 Bradley points. Beal missing from long range. Here's Cool Hands. He's covered by Beal. Murray, the pass to the Cobra. And it's gonna be Damn. Two, free throws, true on the two fouls. Come on, Gall Gallinari. All right, we need to take advantage of this. The fact that he's going to be out two fouls that early, dude. Not, it hasn't even been three fucking minutes, let alone two and a half. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Mitchell passes to Cool Hands. Thompson, a screen on Beal. Here's Andrade. That's tipped. Nice pass by Bradley Beal. We're running the fucking court. This Golden State team ain't holding shit, man. I thought, you know, the difficulty would come into play so far with these dudes, but it hasn't done shit. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Kicks to Mitchell. Shot clock at six. It's blocked. Beautiful block. To the paint. Damn, dude. Tristan Thompson fucking shoving dudes. Sho shoving dudes as frequently as he sleeps with women behind uh, Chloe's back. Let's be honest. That's, uh, that's the beginning of the shit that family deserves. 
Gallo pulls it in. Beautiful execution in terms of creating space for his shot. He just couldn't get that one to fall. Murray, no good. But that would have been lucky. So I will say these dudes are pretty diligent on the shots. rebounds. Well, that's just not wise to take that shot in that situation. He'll think better of it next time around. Here's Mitchell. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Get the fuck out of here. Three blocks already by this man. Come on, he should be on fire. My God, he is. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain Suck my here. balls. It'd be cool actually to like tip that ball and then throw it right into Hollis Jefferson's body. Because he's passing it in, he's automatically going to be out of bounds. Donovan Mitchell now is... And they've both been extremely hot from the floor. Fucking serious. Damn it. That was dumb. He had a pretty good game, Donovan Mitchell, last night against the Rockets. Shit, fucking no. My first thought was to play Spaz. Like, yeah, let's go Jazz. And if the Jazz are going to win, let's go under on the fucking line. Because uh, they'll play at their pace, if anything. Out left to the wing. Down low. Oh, nice block. I was like, damn, that ball's going hot into the basket for a perfect shot. Because he got blocked. Nance outside. Passes to Cool Hands. Off the screen. Mitchell That's automatic. Mitchell's got five. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Here's the Cobra. And the shot is Nicely good. done. Good pass, pass there, Kuzma. Perfectly executed. Warriors trail by three. Mitchell kicks to Thompson. Beal with the steal. And here's the fast break. Beal leading the way. And there's nice Murray pass, Bradley Beal. Man, that's just if we run the break on this team, dude, they're time. done. That assist was right on the money. Their dudes aren't quick enough. I mean, Donovan Mitchell's a fast dude. And Colin Sexton probably is too, but. Fucking serious. Somebody's not reading the scouting report. How can you leave this guy uncovered from range? It is a mystery. Beal, the best boss. The shot. No good. The best of shots right there. Should probably get more of those shots. In the corner, Hollis Jefferson. And Thompson throws it down. Come on, Bamba. You're more athletic than that. On the bounce pass, making the conversion a little bit easier. Here's Murray. Takes it into the teeth of the Nicely media. done. The way up. And Larry Nance defense, you know what I'm saying? Cleveland Cavs. For life, dude. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Odom. Hey, Kevin. I was able to talk to Golden State's head coach. Coach said he knows the onus is on them to win tonight. He said it's the opening game of the series at home. He added oh, come on, Jay. Pressure. pressure is with us to hold on, up Jay the court advantage. But we do feel we're in a good place as a team, and we should be up to the challenge. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. It's stolen. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Here's the Cobra. Nice and put back. Get it done, Kuzma. You can get double doubles against these dudes. Didn't get that much against DeAndre and and Harold, but my God, can you do pretty well against? Here's Mitchell. That one good for two. Damn, I had my fucking right analog stick jamming up. Nice pass, Beal. Three assists now for Beal. Slowly starting this game off. Maybe he'll get his shot going. And, you know, in all honesty, it doesn't matter all too much. If we got Kuzma doing this shit. There's a screen to the middle. It's in. Nice play. Field goal of the game. He's three for five. Oh, he's been basically perfect so far in this quarter, especially on offense. Here's Murray. Come on, Dejounte. Come on, Dow. The feed now to Mitchell. That shot, no good. So the Spurs will take it the other way. Here's Beal. Good fucking finish. Greg Monroe, get the fuck out of here. 
you ain't on the Pistons. You ain't that good anymore. The defense struggling to contain them. And the Warriors making a change here. Beasley's can't believe I'm the Pistons. Dude, leave it to the fucking Pistons. That organization does not know how to use Postman. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice to have Andre Drummond and shit. My God, it's like him and Blake Griffin. I don't think that's that good of a duo, really. I mean... No good from outside. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. Suck my run. balls. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. But it's like Greg Monroe and, and, you can count and uh, Andre Drummond together. It's like, Jesus Christ, dude, you have nice two dudes play, who play center. Of size and feel there. Terrific finish down low. The Warriors shooting their like, how is that going to work? Right here. San Antonio leading by seven. Fires from the wing, but they'll get another chance. Murray, the pass to Jay. To the wing on the left. He tries for three. It's rebounded by Bunn. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Come on, Beal. Beal's on fire. We need to get him and Kuzma going a little bit more. In the pass to Vonley. Shot clock at six. Beasley kicks to Vonley. And the layup is good after Come on, Kuzma. And now just a five point San Antonio lead. Murray, the pass to Jay. Out to the wing. There's the Cobra. Good on the triple. God damn. Even when, even when we fuck up, we do well. On their three point shooting and getting pretty good results. 136 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Mitchell. Oh, what a block. And gets his own rebound. Murray with it. He's got six. The Cobra. And, and a fucking assist. And the offense has come Get up, San Antonio. Fuck yeah, we are. Still too early, but they really bitch. have put their foot down on their opponent so far. The Spurs making a switch here. Oh, nice Trey Burke defense. He's checked in for Boss. Smooth comes in for Jay. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Bradley Beal. And it's Burke in for Murray. Here's Burke following the score by Golden State. Chandler is screen. Burke dishes to Bullock. It's good. The Bustin' threes. Bustin' threes. Bullock's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Let's continue it, y'all. Feeds it to Monroe. Former Here's defensive Mitchell. player of the He's year. Don't fucking do that on Tyson Foods. The dish to Bonley. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Brogdon. And he can't answer back. The three pointer offline. Spurs leading by 12. Inside. Here's the Cobra. So the whistle blows on the shot. Oh, Vonley, man. You getting, right getting fucked. This whole team's getting fucked, let's be honest. About to be 15 to be points for Mr. Kuzma in this quarter. From the strike. Him and Beal, man. They have, I think they combined to have more points than, in the first quarter. or just as many points almost as. Here's Mitchell. Got a hand on it. Well, he hasn't gotten much to fall, and it's costing his team dearly. Here's the Cobra. Here's Chandler. And the God damn, they're the getting fucking owned. Ah. He does not play the score. I mean, he's going to continue to work his tail off on the glass and make plays. Fuck yeah, like Tyson that. Foods Keep does it that. It's Tyson Foods, yourself, baby. And that's how he gets his minutes. He doesn't stop battling for rebounds even when the score is lopsided. He knows his role. Screen by Monroe. Up in time. He got it up in nope. time. But it that's what happens forward. when you let Michael and Beasley shoot your last fucking shot, especially this year. And Tyson Chandler, known for being a great teammate, very vocal. Players do the policing. Hey, let's talk about Tyson Chandler. Tyson Foods right here is getting shit. He's a player like this, Chandler's caliber and character, Greg, to make that kind of a teamwork. By 17 already, this team's here for a playoff run, baby. Leadership role that everybody believes in and respects. No doubt about it, Kevin. And that weighty stature is built on experience and credentials, as you mentioned. Like having that championship ring or, or being uh, an all-star. But when you have it and, and use it that way, the, the coach doesn't have to worry about Good the defense. locker room. Good Chandler defense. Has got that cut. 
And we welcome you back to our presentation of game one. And a comfortable margin for the Spurs here, guys. The roof is up right now, guys. It's raining in here. A lot of threes through the first. Yeah, and starting off with a nice rhythm. Then the snowball. They're looking kind of invincible right now. On the court for San Antonio. Smooth out there with Zach right. Slow this down a little bit. Then there's Trey Burke, and it's Chandler in at the five. So it's San Antonio now. The Warriors making the shot. And that Fuck out of here, mid range dead eye right here. Uh, Silver really mid range dead eye. On the screen, but and that's what Trey Burke can do at times to get hot from mid range. Nans to Nance. Nance a screen. Colinari wide open. And there are the Warriors. Uh, come on, Knox. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Horrendous defense right there. Does the defense know who they are leaving wide open? You can't come do on. That come that. on, Zebo. Now here's Burke. The pass to Knox. Pulls it up. Not Burke that time. Not that time. Out. Not sure what, what come on. was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy come a on. Like that good a look. Passes it to Cool Hands. Nans a screen. Here's Andrade and two free throws coming up. As Get the fuck out of here, dude. The whistle and a lot of contact there. It's going to be on Zach Randall. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. Jay's checked in for San Antonio. And Colin Sexton out of Alabama. Now about two minutes into the One of the better quarter. scores we've seen of the point guard position coming out. And here is Burke, picked by Randall. Fires the three, and again it's San Suck my balls, suck my balls. San Antonio kicked your ass. Fuck you clapping about your dad by 14 and hope, bitch. And we haven't even hit the third quarter stride. I think that's a wise timeout. Yeah, and he may have seen something out there that he'd like to try to exploit. We'll see what they come out with. There's Brogdon. Nance passes to Cool Hands. Gets it to go. From nice shot. The cool Hands got nice check. Now in this he continues to build on his outstanding play during the first quarter. Poked away. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by. Come on. Fucking Jay's doing this shit. Fucking Jay. Fucking Jay. Spurs leading by 11. Come on, let's run this pick and roll. Now, here's Burke. He's got five. Four on the clock. Here's Knox. They get it back. Randall passes to Knox. And a miss there on the triple. Oh, Kevin, yeah, I guess the way we've been shooting lately. That'd be to drop that one in. Just couldn't get it to go. Difficult to get that one drop in. Pass to Nance. Here's Thompson. And it's Thompson with the chance. Tristan Thompson. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does great. Now here's Burke. Jumper off the screen. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's Fucking got a nice cold ass. Tonight. Pass to Brogdon. Kalinari on the wing. Inside. And that one is stuffed right through. All right, 20-second timeout. You got to do it yourself. That dunks the shot in the arm they need to really cut into that lead. Well, Greg, it certainly got everybody on their bench up and off their seats. Fucking 7-0 rod. Time for a Greg Popovich timeout. Fickle thing. Sometimes one simple boost in confidence can change the complexion of an entire game. Andre Hollis Jefferson, he's checked in for Nance. Hollis, he's damn, checked dude. in for the Spurs. Andre Hollis, keep it down. Three from the inbound. Burke can't get it to go. Warriors trail by seven. And Gallinari kicks to Thompson. And that one drops. Tristan Thompson Thompson's never making a six. shot like that. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get. There we go. Nice pass from Jay Isaac. <laughs> Jay Isaac. Nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Here's Alice Jefferson following the bucket by the Spurs. Kicks to Gallinari. Golden State moving the ball around. Hollis Jefferson passes to Gallinari. Six to shoot. Fires from the wing. 
Beautiful defense, given the ball now. Not a good pass. Here's Brogdon. Six points for him. It's Hollis Jefferson, top of the key. Here's Knox. Gets the front of the Damn, that's a good pass set enough for Mr. Knox, but he just doesn't knock cool that hands. down. Here's Thompson. Foul call that time in the way up. Yeah, bomb a second. Mm. That sucks, but at least we'll get our other two in. It's his first trip to the line. That free throw missing. Mitchell, he's checked in for Brogdon. No good on the second free throw. Spurs leading by seven. Bullock passes to Boss. The lead pass I'll was take that, though. Beautiful right pass side. by Bullock. The Spurs bench just knows how to play ball. He off in the first, but he found a way to get his shot going here in the second. Right on the bucket. And that's now seven points for Gallinari. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. <laughs> Golden State's gone. Fuck you. We're going to keep the seven point deficit before the stars come out in the line. Mitchell kicks to Thompson. Fuck you, going to do Thompson. Pass to Cool Hands. Down to five on the shot clock. It's deflected. They recover it. San Antonio's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them to the inside. Dishes it to Bullock. Goes up the baseline. And a pick nice pass, Mr. Knox. Right in. Nicely Bullock done, Mr. Knox. Smart decision to kick the ball Nicely out done, as the Mr. defense collapses inside. Here's Alice Jefferson. And a strong finish Good little slam right there. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing That will, though. Beautiful fucking dunk, Kevin. Have all. We'll also Have all now. No one rotates over. See ya. So it's the Warriors now. After the basket by San Antonio. Here's Cool Hands. He's got nine. He tries for three. Rebounded by the Spurs. Boss has got his third rebound on the night. Back to Burke. Slow this down a little bit. We have a lot of fucking. Off the pick. The putback. It's beautiful putback, Bomba. Keep it up, dog. Keep it up, dog. You're making a name for yourself around here. Let's get these fucking, let's get these other star turrs. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And the Warriors with some changes. Monroe's checked in for Tristan Thompson. There you go. Bonley comes in for Gallinari. And it's Beasley in for Hollis Jefferson. Then for the Spurs. The Cobra is checked in for Smooth. Beal comes in for Reggie Bullock. And Murray subbed in for Burke. Mitchell. And it falls. Fuck that shot. <laughs> fucking just sitting there, dude, like a couple fucking like lions waiting for the prey up in the tree, and that shit ain't coming out. Come on, hit me up again. Call me maybe, Bomba. There's the pick. Left of the wing. Here's the Cobra. Offensive rebound. Spurs. Pass to Boss. Persistence pays off as they. There we go. Nicely shot. done. Boss has got nine. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Cool hands passes to Mitchell. Oh, what a fucking dunk. Jesus Christ. Say, sort of surprising. He goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. Murray with it. Six points for him. Stolen by Mitchell. One thirty left in the first half right. of the game. And after his last game, really not surprised to see him as hot as he is here tonight. Sometimes you get into a zone for a few games, and the basket seems as if it's wide as the ocean. Here's Beal. The Warriors making the shot. Oh, dude. Can't get that fucking shot. You shitting me. Here's Mitchell. 
16 points for him. And stolen by Murray. Here's the Cobra. Well placed jumper from the free throw That beautifully set up Murray. Six and six games so far from you. huge today for his team. Without his hot shooting, there's no way they'd have the lead. Beasley the screen. Here's Mitchell. Knocks down the three ball. Mitchell's got 10 points in the quarter. Oh, he has been dominant on offense. Who knows where they'd be in this game without his efforts? And he jams it after taking Beautifully a nice done. Field on the run. Murray. That's leadership. Really, really valuable to have someone who can just take charge like he has. For the captain of the ship, you know the rest of his teammates look to him to provide when things are tight. He came through again. His team well, shoot lights out this quarter. His eyes just light up. But just, just sag off of him. And he was fouled on the way up. Two nice attack in the basket. The Michael Beasley ain't fucking stopping you on that, I'll tell you that. And some changes here for the Spurs. Chandler comes in for both. 11 points, double Randolph digits for both for Jet. Beal Warriors and Kuzma in this game. Six. I'm down with it, I dig it. Here's Mitchell. 19 points in the game. Screen by Monroe, Andrade. That short off the rim. Nice little and rebound to add to the stats for Kuzma. Because it's a video game, we also care about fucking show. stats. And in this, well, for San Antonio, they put themselves in decent shape to grab that all-important game one victory. So far, they've clearly Fuck been yeah. a better They're team. They're better than we are, though, but... By no means is it a <sighs> that but blows, but it is what it is. Kenny, what Let's get this W. Set? That, sadly... Kind of sucks, though, that we're the first game out of... Or the first game to play out of the entire second round. Because frankly, frankly, dear, I don't give a damn. But um, kind of makes it like, oh, we can't check it all too, too much. Like, oh, be cool to see like how the series are gonna go. But you know, we'll have to, we'll see that anyways. We'll just have to wait. No binge watching. We've got Gallinari. Thompson is out there with Nance. Then there's Speedy, and it's cool hands in at the one. That's the Warriors five. Now here's Murray. The pass to the coach. Nice little reverse dunkage right there. Nice little dip by Bamba. You know, it's been nice out of the post. He's been utilizing his position quite a bit. That he's been getting about four or five assists per game. But it's surprising, Kev, to see so little urgency on the defensive side, especially with them losing this game right now. And, and they continue to control the glass. Here's Boss. And he was oh, get it, Bamba. Get it, dog. Here's a peek at the two games Come on, let's get you a fucking Barbara Walters game. In this year's playoffs. Take a look at Boss. No doubt one of the most efficient rebounders in the game. And oh yeah, especially his chances at the line, only making in these one playoffs free past couple bits, man, averaging 17 and 17. Fuck yes. In this third quarter, just over a minute play. Mitchell kicks to Nance. Now, here is going on. Guarded close. Passes to Cool Hands. Launches it. Rebounded by the Spurs. 17 points was their biggest margin. But drive by Beal. And it's good. Beautifully done. Beal's Run that fucking break, boys. Well, we've seen that Got more energy than they do since the fucking coach Pop is having the these dudes play. Pass to Cool Hands. Doubled by Murray. The screen from Thompson. Mitchell dishes to Thompson. And the shot Fucking good, serious. In off the front of the rim. Ten points for him. Beal, the pass to Bucks. Back to Beal. Stolen by Mitchell. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. It's rebounded by Boss. Yeah, not happening. Boss has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. The pass to the coach. He kicks it to Randolph. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Murray, no good. And he has slipped into a fog. You can see the confidence is shaking. Yeah, everybody goes through slumps. You can't yeah. let it get to the Four point, point game. Makes now. Mistakes okay. on the floor. You just have to always be thinking about the next play. So it's San Antonio now. 
After the Warriors pick up three nice little pass by Beal, setting up Randolph. Ain't going to have much usage, but the man is efficient, long. which is what we need. Feeds it to Gallinari. To the paint. It's tipped. Stolen by Randolph. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Here's the Cobra. Some oh, dude, come on. That's You're like one of the best scorers in basketball right now, Kuzma. And then now that turns into a four-point fucking swing. Could have been up by eight. Dude, it's a fook. Gallinari in the corner. And out of bounds is San Antonio. Yeah, go ahead, be my guest. Really just a lack of awareness on his part. Just no idea he was right near the line. Brockton, he's checked in for the Warriors. San Antonio also making some changes. Ooh, I don't know about that. Cobra. And it's Burke in for Murray. Now Nance. Bradley Beal missing from long range. They set the pick. Pass to Brogdon. To the middle. And Thompson kicks to Nance. That's it. Yeah, Coming Zach Randolph. What in the flying Nance. fuck are you doing? And now, just a two-point Spurs lead to the inside. And that will be San Antonio as it goes out of bounds. Spurs retain possession. And, and really no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Oh, uh, great resolve there on defense, allowing nothing easy. Andre Hollis Jefferson, he's checked in for Golden State. Jesus, James how is that not a foul? Reggie Bullock comes in for Bradley Reggie Bullock Beal. defense. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. The Spurs have gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Burke, the pass to Jenner. Back to Burke. Come on, Isaac, you had to set better screens than that. Offensive rebound. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. What the fuck was that? Jesus. Here's the Warriors with the ball. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. Rogged in the pass to Mitchell. Nance against Randolph. Here's Brogdon. Six points for him. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebound. There we go. Good shit, Trey Burke. Differentiator thus far. Here's Nance. Ooh. <laughs> That's how you attack. Wow. <laughs> Burke can't get it to go. Golden State's gone six of twelve from outside. A very nice fifty percent mark. Shooting the three ball well. Damn, dude, Isaac, you're doing shit, man. Just badly back into this game. Well, even if they don't come away with the win, they still have to be satisfied with how they made this game. And it's Bullock missing. Golden State's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Mitchell dishes to Nance. And the jam by Larry Nance. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a Manny, but a face. Oh, a bounce to the ounce, Greg. Yeah, showing off the bunnies. Now, here's Burke. He has seven, and the basket is good. There we go. We need Trey Burke to make some pick and roll shots. Here's Golden State now. They're on a 17 to 6 run. Rodd in the pass to going up. Mitchell kicks to Nance. And it's going to be nope. two free throws. You ain't making that, shot. dude. The Warriors have gone 6 of 9 at the line. He's off on the first. Monroe's Still shooting way better than we Easily ever were. In for Rondé, this whole Jefferson. fucking game. And San Antonio it's ridiculous. They're not even Tyson passing Sandler. the ball as well as we have. Zach get there, get there. And here is Burke. Nine points in the game so far. Pass to Knox. He feeds it to Chandler. It's stolen by Nance. Rogged in the pass to Mitchell. He dishes it to Monroe. Feeds it. Count that one. Not a lot Jesus of Christ, Tyson. Fucking Michael Beasley. And the Warriors making a change here. Onlay is checked in. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Beals checked in. Here's Bullock. Second shot opportunity. That's good. And the Warriors. Good shit. Beals in at point guard. Because I don't know what happened. Trey Burke had injured or something. Out. Some easy second chance opportunities there. That's just the real lack of physicality in the post there. No reason at all that they should have gotten the rebound. There we go. Bradley Beal's making a Here's huge Mitchell. difference right now. 19. Jesus. 
down low. And that one's good, Brogdon. Brogdon's got eight. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Now here's Beal. He's got 13. Here's Knox. And the Spurs score. Nice again. pass, Isaac. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. How can we get the fuck Even back? Golden State's gone six of twelve from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Here's Mitchell. And there's the pass to Brogdon. Lock at six. Chandler with the steal. Count the basket. And he fucking and gets stone from the fuck. Speedy. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Out to the right wing. Here's Bullock. He nails it. Beautifully done. Tie a ball game. This is a fucking game. And so far, and it might go to like 120 to 120 the way this fucking shit's been going on. Attention to detail. They've really turned the corner here. Completely different team compared to their play and their focus in the first half. Chandler with the steal. There's the dish to Bullock. Inside for the lead. Fucking sick shit. That's right, Tyson Chandler. Tyson Foods, you be eating and greeting. He gets hit, but stays with the play and gets the finish. Yeah, we need that veteran for this shit. There we go. One of three from downtown since halftime. Here's Brogdon. Got a piece of it. And the Spurs pushing it up now. Stops. Pops. And it's and drops. <laughs> Beal's got his seventh assist here tonight. Warriors trail by five. One on Bradley left Beal. In the third quarter. Beasley right side. Monroe outside. Pocket six. Here's Brogdon. Got it. Good job. Nice play. Brogdon's got four points this quarter. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the third. To the paint. Rebound by Monroe. Oh, he hasn't started this game on the right foot, but it hasn't slowed his team from grabbing the lead. Here's Mitchell. A rebound by the Great Spurs. defense, DeJounte. Jay's got it, got four rebounds in this game. Here's Beal, and right on through for There we go. Basket. Nicely done, He's boys. Keep it up, keep it up. Kuzma's on the bench. Shooting. We'll have his usage. Man, fantastic chemistry Worst on that case scenario, to even to if we got Beal and DeJounte low on health. Beasley with it. Five points in the game. Fades away. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for But him. it was not a... To what's been a hard fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. Spurs leading by five. On the floor for San Antonio starting the fourth quarter. Busted Kuzma. We've got Chandler. Murray out there with Bradley Beal. Then there's Smooth. And it's the Cobra in at the power forward. There's Brogdon following the three pointer by San Antonio. Passes it to Cool Hands. Really? Six on the shot clock. Takes a three, and that one's good, Brogdon. And, and how about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. I like that style. Lose three points, get them right back at the other end. That's good basketball. Now the Warriors moving it up. It's tipped and stolen by Murray. And now Beal pushing it up and no one back to stop. There you go. Fucking sick-ass shit. Come on, DeJounte. Keep it up, dog. On the break. Terrific work in transition there. Nice finish to cap off that play. Cool hands passes to Alice Jefferson. Here's Brogdon. He's covered by Beal. Basket counts. And the deeper we get into this game, it seems like the more the offenses are in rhythm. Well, defenses are going to have to step up. Oh, uh, you can't right keep now. up with that, man, can you? Oh, you can't, Greg Monroe. Shoot fucking 60%, you fucking bitches. 
making some changes here for the Warriors. Well, I'll have Tristan Kuzma Johnson do his work. In for Monroe. And it's Gallinari in for Rondé and Hollis Jefferson. Kicks to Nance. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Rod in the pass to Thompson. Unable to get that one. Excellent D to force that miss there. That took real courage to risk being on a poster. Beautifully done. Let's keep it up, boys. We got two of the better shooters on the floor. I do think that Beal is a better shooter than Malcolm. Uh, well, obviously Malcolm Brogdon. Here's Thompson after the main shot from Bradley Beal. Thompson is screen on Beal. The shot by Brogdon, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And there's the feed to Beal. Tim, he hangs in there and Fucking catches it on the shit, yes. Tyson food. Toot, 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 toot. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid, and they're giving up a ton of second-chance points. Boss, he's checked in for San Antonio. Randolph comes in for smooth. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Hey, during that last break, I heard the Warriors coach as he addressed the team. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. we got to dial up our effort. Kevin will see if they have enough to get it done. Here's Nance. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He Nance. remains perfect. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Beal, that's for two. And it's San Antonio with another. He's busting it. Dots are busting. Warriors trail by 12. Here's Brogdon. Pass to Cool Hands. Dishes to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. The 15 footer. And it's Randolph with the rebound. Randolph's got his third rebound tonight. Get the bucket back. Oh, yeah. There you go. 14 point game. We just have way better stars than they do. And I know that it's nice that they have Malcolm on the bench, so his usage is nice against, you know, the likes of a Trey Burke. I mean, I'd much rather have fucking. Malcolm Brogdon any day Nance. over fucking Trey Burke. The screen from Thompson. Alinari right side. It's rebounded by Boss. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Randolph passes to the Cobra. Beal, that's for two. And the whistle blows, and it's going to be an over-the-back Ah, fuck it. I don't care, though. It's still a shot made by Beal. I mean, they've got to make that call over the back. Warriors trail by 16. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many if Forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the... Step back. Beautiful. Brilliant throwdown. And that's exactly how they've gotten the lead right here. Easily, he's been their most consistent performer. But well, they've been on the road. The screen from Thompson. Cool hands passes to Gallinari. He kicks to Thompson. Golden State moving the ball around. What? Oh, what? Hey. Oh, he'll he'll bust all these, three. though. Beal picks one up. Mitchell, he's checked in for cool hands. A what? He hits the a second pool. from the line. A three. He makes all three. It was easy. That was just too easy for, San Antonio for them to 13. get three points. Now the pass to the Cobra. Feeds it to Murray. Passes it to the Cobra. At the elbow, Murray. Pass to the Cobra. Fires for three. And the Oof. rebound goes to the Warriors. Gallinari's got his third rebound on the night. Pass to Mitchell. Gallinari outside. He feeds it to Thompson. And it's Thompson really? at the jam. Oh, 
power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. And there's the pass to Boss. He dishes it to Murray. And it's Beal in the corner. Yeah, he's Brings feeling it. it. He is feeling it this fucking Beal's quarter, dude. Points. Oh, my. And that's not the way for a team to get back into a game, giving up open shots like that. Wow. Bad defense can cost you dearly. I'd be surprised if they found a way to get back in this one. Here's Brogdon. Gallinari on the wing. A baseline J. San Antonio with the rebound. The Cobra's got three rebounds so far in the game. Busted Bradley. God damn it, yes. It's San Antonio. Woo. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Here's Mitchell. Inside. Shoots from the line. That's good. Nice pass. Brogdon's got 10 points in the quarter. Oh, this guy, his motor is always the same. No matter what the score of the game is, he always remains aggressive. Outside, Beal. Pass to Boss. Stolen by Thompson. Here's Brogdon. The dish to Mitchell. The shot from the right, right. is good. He's got 23. Go ahead and run the full court. What, I don't give a what shit. What a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Randolph can't hit. Uh, you can bet if he's left open from there again, he's probably going to knock that one down. Nance passes to Brogdon. Back to Nance. Pass to Brogdon. Beal with the steal. Wide open look. Kept alive. Fires the three. Kicks it to Murray. Tries a three. And no Damn. good. I mean, Bomba just had what, the other way. two rebounds right there. He hasn't gotten too, too many rebounds. And stolen by Murray. And a fast break now for the Spurs. 152 left to play here in the fourth. Beal, that's for two. Up again. It's good on the putback. Beautifully done. He did not By himself, just in case that missed. Where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Now only two fouls this game. I'm cool with it. 15 assists by Murray, dude. There's 138 left here in the fourth quarter. Nance dishes to Thompson. Gallinari outside. Now the feed to Mitchell. Four on the shot clock. Deflected by Randolph. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down. And what will be a win here in game one of the series for the Spurs. This is a game where the defense, you know, steals specifically. Oh! Nice dunk. And guys got careless with the ball there and the turnover. Oh! oh. At 30 points tonight. For Mr. Kuzma. Oh, yeah. Well, Never mind. OVA. It's no question about that. Cool hands checked in for Brogdon. Gallinari, the open look. No good off the front iron. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's stolen by Nance. There's the pass to Cool Hands. A three pointer, no good. Outside, Beal. Stolen by Mitchell. With the teardrop, and it's good on the way up. That's an aggressive approach to the rack, but still, he calmly floated again. And here is Murray. It's Beal on the wing. We'll get Bill 31 though. 29 Beale's for him. Just or for Kuzma. 31 for him. Grown here over the last few possessions. When one guy gets hot sometimes, it's infectious. And the team does too. That's what seemed to happen for them on that play. Fires from the wing. Aww. And, so and there it is, Who's folks. Gay Fuken Wood. It's Wood!
Thanks, Kevin. Now we have the Let's see who player of the game was, though. Well, I think it was Bradley game. Beal, though. Bradley Beal. Yep. There was obviously some discussion at halftime about how to get him more involved. He completely dominated the second half. Well, he started off this series with a bang. Guy. And that'll signal. We'll have to see how many steals he ended up with, too. Alrighty, let's check this out. So, player of the game is obviously Beal. So, let's see. Good ass game by Donovan Mitchell, though. 25 points, um, 3 assists, 5 steals, 2 rebounds as well. You know, if you want to add some more stats into it. Him and Brogdon, though, were under 15, under 16 total. One on the court. 20 points for Brogdon, 7 assists. So, their stars came out and played. Donovan Mitchell shot it. 19 times, so you know that's why this game stayed relatively close. Is you got to use your stars. Galinari, 15 points, four rebounds, four assists. Not a bad game for him. I mean, he is the third option when it comes down the stretch. Nance, 13, 9, 6, and 3. Good game by him. A lot of steals at the end, a lot of turnovers at the end. I got sloppy, but I just wanted more points. But um, Tristan Thompson, double double. Colin Sexton, almost a double double. So a good performance by them. Not much done by the other guys. But here we go. Player of the game. Bradley Beal, 31 points, 8 assists, 2 steals, 2 rebounds. Dude just was shooting hot. And I'm glad I utilized him in Kuzma to where it's 20 field goals with Beal. Or 20 uh, attempts with Beal. 17 with Kuzma. Bomba with the nice game. 14 points, 16 rebounds, 4 blocks. Dude's a fucking force. That's what he is, man. And I'm cool with him just shooting six time, or eight times. Get six for eight. I'll take that. That's 12 free points. And he got two at the free throw line. Didn't do too hot. He got seven offensive rebounds. Tyson Chandler in 10 minutes had 10 points, six rebounds. It's just great performance by him. Trey Burke, 12 points, nine points. Or 12 minutes, nine points, two assists. DeJounte Murray, three steals, one block. He had eight points and 17 assists. I'm down with that. Using him like a Rondo, only shot it 11 times compared to the likes of Kuzma with 17 and 20 for Beal. Both of them shot uh, well, 3 of 5 at the three-point line, 4 of 8, so that's 7 of 13 total, more than 50% between those two. Reggie Bullock shot a couple threes, played pretty well. Zach Randolph with four steals, 6 points, 4 rebounds. Jonathan Isaac, 5, 5, and 3. Kevin Knox with 4, 4, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And, yeah, do not plays with the rest of these guys. But nice little performance by these dudes for certain. Um, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look nice for this series to see. How, let's see how many points that Beal had in the fourth quarter. 20 points the second half, 16 in the fourth quarter. That means he had a third quarter of four points, four assists. Still solid to have that in a quarter. Team comparison, they still shot better than we did. We made four We had made four more baskets, though. So shot the ball 11 more times. They were better behind the three-point line. Pretty much equivalent on free throws. Theirs was a little bit less percentage than ours, but uh, we did make set four more threes than they did. They destroyed us in points in the paint, 70 to 48. Um, second chance points, we destroyed them. That was because those offensive rebounds, I think, I mean, a lot of putbacks, I think. It's got to be at least seven putbacks. Bench points, beat them on bench points uh, by four. Assists, 38 assists. It has a lot to do with Murray getting 17, uh, beating them by five on assists. Destroyed them on the boards. We had nine more rebounds than they did. Two more steals than they did. A lot of steals in that game, a lot of turnovers, 15 to 12 turnovers. And points off, they had more points off. Uh, 19 and they're more efficient with it that's why they ended up coming back in that game as such um biggest lead was 17 five by them we had eight blocks to their one so uh, good overall game right there i'm proud of it and then now let's check out these series here see where these series have gone um we'll get a playthrough for every one of them. So there we go. Setting up for game two, which will be soon. But here we go. Let's go ahead. We get a win by the Nugs. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm sure D'Angelo had a lot to do with that. But Kyrie Irving got fouled out in 30 minutes into the game. 31 minutes. He still got a double-double, 20 points, 10 assists. But him getting fouled out, he could play 10 more minutes or more if he needs to. They still shot 39 of 80. Almost 50%. Uh, 
Um, just this Denver team can be lights out, and I think it has a lot to do with D'Angelo. We'll have to see. But Harrison Barnes, 15 points. Marvin Bagley with 34 points, 6 rebounds. Um, no turnovers, but no assists, no steals, no blocks. Steven Adams probably getting bullied down low, I think. Actually, recently in real life, too, Steven Adams hasn't been very good on defense. Not at all. And Rondo played well in his time, 6 and 16 minutes, 6 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. And I'm sure had a lot to do with Kyrie getting fouled out and him coming on. But they had 5 guys in double digits. And then, wow. I mean... Let's be a top scorer of the game was Gordon Hayward, right? Yeah, 35 points, three rebounds, four assists. The dude's keeping it up. I mean, how disgusting that broken ankle was against the Cavs, what, last year or something? He's uh, playing pretty damn well. And uh, they had at least three dudes with 20 points and Capella with a double-double, a block and two assists, only a turnover. But D'Angelo Russell, man, this guy is playing MVP-type levels right now for this team. As you can see right there, 32 points, 7 rebounds, and 16 assists. This dude is balling. Look at 90 overall as he's vastly approved. I mean, 25 points per game. Only had 17 his first year. And this Denver T was looking good. Oh, it's going to be hard really to see Vucevic and Capella get double-doubles each. But 16 points and 7 rebounds in 23 minutes. It's what you need from Vooch in that situation if Capel is going to play 30 minutes and get a double-double. So that was nice to see. Zach Collins, unsung hero, three blocks, zero turnovers, one steal, 11 rebounds, and only one point. Getting it done. They had six guys with double digits and points. It was a nice little game. They shot, what, 8 of 17, pretty equivalent on the three-point range, but they had 45 free throws. In that game, tons of fouls. We'll have to see team fouls 26 to 20. Uh, must be a decent amount of attacking the basket. Magic lose game one of their series. It went to overtime and they lost by one point. Must have been a monster game by Durant. No, that was just a monster game. A monster game by freaking uh, Lonzo Ball. Nicely done. But Anthony Davis 33 points, 14 rebounds, four assists, four blocks. Great game. You know, it's what you expect of Anthony Davis, especially in that position where Marcus Hall's just not sticking around the basket enough, probably, to get enough rebounds to keep him off the boards. But uh, good luck trying to do that with Anthony Davis. Dude's 96 overall, and it's Anthony Davis. Jordan Bell's still kicking ass. It's like a six man for this team. 18 points, eight rebounds. Darren Fox, 17 and 12 game with two rebounds, three steals, and a block. I mean, he's still killing it. I think he's been the most consistent, as you've seen Davis has gotten. I'm pretty sure Fox has pretty much gotten a double-double every game. Or I think every game except for one because he had like 15 assists and eight points or 17 assists and eight points one game. Michael Porter Jr., 15 and 5. And then Tim Hardaway Jr. actually with a double-double. He had 10 assists as well as 13 points. Andrew Harrison played pretty well. Um, Jared Allen not doing all too well, 4 points, 10 rebounds, and Kevin Durant. So top scorer was Anthony Davis in the game. Kevin Durant and Lonzo Ball tied for 23 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, only 1 turnover by Durant, not not too much going. He shot 9 for 18, only 18 shots. Probably would want to have Kevin Durant shooting at 25 times in a game. But Lonzo Ball playing well. 23 points, 2 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 steals, a block. Uh, that's, you know, that's a sick-ass game for him. Marcus Saul actually played pretty well. 19 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, 4 blocks, 2 steals. DeMontis Sabonis, 15 points, 9 rebounds. The pace is going to be really high in this game, I think. Uh, you saw it towards the end right there, 34-39 to 39 in the fourth quarter for the Magic to tie it, but they lose by a point at home. So, And then also, to Marco Fultz, 12-7-7. Seven, and seven. Him and Lonzo Ball have just been a couple dudes, I think, that have been trying to keep this offense circulating stuff and setting up dudes like Herter, Michael Bridges, or is it, yeah, it's Michael Bridges. And Herter, 11 and 3 and 6. He's only 1 for 4 on 3s. 3 of 10 only for Kevin Durant on 3s, but Lonzo Ball, 4 of 7. I mean, his 3 pointer, I guess, has improved drastically. But he does have a couple of good badges because Lonzo Ball's, you know, highly aware as a basketball player. Just he needs to get his shit straight. Yeah. <clears throat> that means getting rid of his father, throwing him in a ditch. And then here we go. The Wizards, the Jizzards, won by 14 to start the series. Um, not tw not the highest scorer for his team. Nurkic was with 20 points, only two rebounds, two assists, and two steals. No blocks, no turnovers, though. But 
<sighs> Excuse me. Robert Covington, 19 points, 3 rebounds, 3 steals. Ben Simmons, though, doesn't get a triple-double, but the fucker gets 17 points, 9 re rebounds, and 18 assists, 2 blocks as well. 5 turnovers, but he's just kicking ass. Derek White, 14 points, 2 rebounds, 5 assists, stealing the block as well. 5 turnovers, however, but Thomas Bryant gets a double-double. Al Horford gets in the double digits as well as Paul Millsap. With, Paul Millsap, though, does stuff the, uh, stuff the stat sheet with 10, 4, 4, and 3. Only one turnover. That's looking right here. John Collins doing his job. So is Rivera. Schroeder still doing well. 10 points, 11 assists, but 28 points for John Collins. 10 rebounds, 3 blocks. Uh, him and Tatum should be working well. I mean, he's working well, but Tatum's just not getting it. A guy that can score, you know, 20 points, 30 points when you want him to. Tatum's got to have to play way better than that. 15 shots, shooting 6 of 15. I don't know if Simmons is guarding him or something, but just have to see. But Jose Rivera... Been a great rookie of the year for this Bucks team. 15 points, 9 assists. Like I said, Schroeder, double-double, 10 points, 11 assists. And he only had turn two turnovers over it. Dodson, 7-4-5. Koji, 5-4, 2-2-1 in 8 minutes. Damn, that's pretty damn good. Nerlens Noel, eh, did Ike. Not that good. Bam, 13-7, two blocks. It's just Jason Statham. <laughs> Jason Statham needs to... uh. Needs to get in that 20-point range. I mean, let's see what he's averaging. Yeah. He's getting more points per game in the playoffs, but he needs to get a lot more. I mean, Jose Rivera is balling 22 per game and stuff like that. Let's get a stat update on the playoffs. Um, let's check out what it was like for the first round. Top scorer, D'Angelo Russell, and he's well in that position as well. Kyrie Irving second, Anthony Davis, Kuzma, and Durant and. The top five and, you know, top five scorers are part of teams that have made it to the next round. Makes a lot of sense. Rebounds per game. Bomba is just, he's just kicking ass. His defense has improved to one of the best shot blockers in basketball. Um, going 17 and 17 a game. Can't complain with that at all. I mean, Anthony Davis is getting 11 rebounds compared ugh, to the 17 per game by Bomba. He's just kicking ass. 17-17, can't ask for better. He's getting four assists per game nearly and five blocks per game. Assists per game, yep. De'Aaron Fox, the man he's pretty much... Let's check out his game logs, what it's been. Yeah, so he had, he's had a double-double every game except for one game to where he had eight points and 15 assists. So, yeah, I was right. And he's averaging nearly three steals per game. Yep, three steals per game. There you fucking go. John Wall's right there. Schroeder's keeping it up. DeJounte's almost in the double-digit area. He's, I mean, he's he's just a beast. He's turned into a little beast, a little Tasmanian devil on the court. LeBron Jokic right there. Jokic and them just sucks. He played really well, but not the other dudes. Old Depot stuffed the, sh uh, stuffed the shot sheet. The shot sheet. The stat sheet. Uh, with four per game, Jimmy Butler. But DeJounte's up there for steals per game, as well as De'Aaron Fox, Lonzo Ball. And yeah, doing well. Blocks per game. It's Bomba leading the way in the first round. Uh, Jared Allen right behind same with Towns, Davis, Gobert, Whiteside, Jordan, and Oladipo, of course. Oladipo, I think, might have been the defensive star in the first round, but he played really well. And then conference semifinal, as we saw, Gordon Hayward, top scorer, with five guys with 30 points. Beal's the bottom one right there. Rebounds per game is top one is Bomba. Assist. Ben Simmons right above DeJounte Murray. It's just Ben Simmons has such huge upside. Five steals by uh, Donovan Mitchell. Four by Randolph. And then four blocks by Gasol, Bamba, and Davis. So uh, looking looking quite nice as Denver goes ahead in game one. The Horny Hornets go ahead and steal one in Orlando. And then the Washington Wizards. I, I think, I think, man. Shit, I think that Denver and Memphis series is going to be more competitive than you saw in that game. I think um, I think Denver is most likely to win in six and seven games, but if the Memphis Grizzlies do win, it will be in six games. They'll have to get four of the next five. Um, I, think, I think the Hornets in good position to take down the Magic, but that will go possibly seven. And I do think, though, that you're going to see the Wizards... Um, 
advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. I think they might win in four or five. Uh, we'll have to see, but hopefully my Spurs can play a little bit better than they did uh, in the second and third quarters, but playing more like they did in the first and fourth, and maybe we'll get a sweep. Who knows? Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how game two goes, whether or not this, if we can get up to a safe lead like we did to, to combat that comeback by them or not. But we'll just have to see for next time. As always, y'all, appreciate the support. Tons and tons. Thanks, buds. Thanks a bunch. I'm really thankful and grateful for it. And as always, be grateful for everything that comes to you. Take care, y'all, and see you next video.